There's, I follow certain little tribes online. And one of the ones I love to watch are these people that want to call themselves entrepreneurs, but they have unintentionally called themselves this because they thought that what that meant is the least possible work, feed on a beach, something, next, right? And the people that I was most enamored with growing up as business people were the kind of people who could just say the most simple thing and get more business. Could you use a little blank or whatever? Example, in this place where I live, I had a guy come in who I needed to assemble some Ikea furniture. And he says, oh, noticed your walls are a little scuffed. You probably need some painting done. You want me to paint your walls? I was like, huh, interesting. How much? And of course, it was a somewhat reasonable number made much more reasonable by the fact the man is standing there. Right. He goes, I, I could do this later today or I could be here next week. What's good for you? I was like, I didn't even what they call it an assumed sale where yeah. the person i put myself on the hook i swallowed the hook i choked it as fast as i could it was fascinating and i think but it was what you wanted right it was the, right i was the care of, yeah, right that's interesting because you talk about startups <laughs> like there is a whole let's say gaggle of groups who believe that the purpose of business is to fool an investor <laughs> or, uh, or to, or to create an investor and that the customer just becomes like a sec. I, I'm not a shark tank fan or aficionado, but I do occasionally bump across it surfing channels. And some people are looking like they want the investor just to take, carry them. Some people look like they're actually thinking about creating customers. So but there is a group that is just their focus is on getting money to finance the lifestyle that they want or something like that. It's I was just listening to a guy who is a, a ship magnate and the way he started his business, he's a billionaire, but the way he started his business is he was a finance guy in New York doing mostly real estate financial things in New York. And he was, he didn't like the life. He just liked the money. And he said, I've always loved ships. He was raised in Rhode Island down the street from me pretty much. Mm -hmm. And 